I have managed to squeeze a couple of hours in my diary um, to facilitate doing this video for you. So without further ado, I'm going to create look number four from my Instagram stories. Now, if you missed it, I'm so sorry. My Instagram handle is at bbpro underscore Hannah Martin. I'll pop the link in the description box below. Um, but in seven days, I created seven different eye looks using this beautiful palette. Oh, you can see my sparkly water, slightly addicted. Um, but yes, I love the palette because of its versatility. <laughs> Just notice you can also see some dead old swatches on my arm. I'm not bruised, that was swatching. Um, but yes, I created seven different, I'm rambling, hormones. I created seven different looks with this palette, ranging from quite nude matte looks through to blue smoky eyes, through to um, bronze smoky eyes, through to simple just gold sparkle. And it was the bronze that was super popular with you guys. And it made me chuckle because I did that in my kitchen on a Monday morning before work in kind of five minutes with Bear while we had breakfast. So let me recreate that look for you. Um, I have applied my base, so I'm wearing my trusty skin foundation stick in beige because that's what I wore that Monday. Um, and I thought to myself, actually, my base looked pretty good. I did a bit of bronzer with the chestnut skin foundation stick. And my under eye was a bit of the um, instant full cover concealer in beige. But I did add my little trick, a little bit of the extra light peach over the top for that extra bit of brightness. Now, that's working for me now because at this stage of... My pregnancy, I get breathless, I apologise, but also I don't sleep that very well. Um, so I need all the help I can get under my eyes. Okay, so as I did that day, I started with some Sand Dune Longwear Cream Shadow Stick and I simply brushed that over my lid, straight from the bullet, and then using my ring finger and I do love to use my ring finger when I'm getting ready of a morning because I do it nice and quick. I then just blend the sand dune all the way over the lid and up into the crease. Not only do I love this gentle flesh tone, um, it also acts as a great makeup or eyeshadow base for the gorgeous colour in my palette. Not that this shadow needs it. This is the black scotch, which I'm going to use. It doesn't need a base underneath, actually, because it's a really creamy, kind of metallic-y bronze. But I know that from the minute I'm getting up with my son, and it's kind of 7.30 and I'm doing my makeup, I want and need my makeup to look good right throughout the day. So that just helps it stay in place. For me, I find that a little bit better. I then went in to this gorgeous bronze, this black scotch, and simply with my ring finger again, just pressed it over the sand dune. Now, if you're a fan of using brushes, if you don't like using your fingers, then I'm not saying that this is how you have to apply it. I just simply want to show you how I applied it the day I took that photo, because it was so quick and speedy and I don't know about you but I find being shown kind of the quick and easy hack I find that really empowering because I think a lot of women are a little intimidated by makeup for many reasons but also just because I think women fear that they need to spend hours creating perfection. I then went back into the Caviar and Ruby's palette I went into this gilded colour here which is just the most beautiful gold sparkle and again trusty ring finger just press that over the top I mean look I'll zoom in in a sec but you can see how immediately that's taken what was a pretty smoky eye into a really beautiful festive shimmerer Shimmer. <laughs> there we go, can you see? Look at that. Love it. Fab, and it's as easy as that. I'll stay zoomed in for the next bit. 
because I then used a little bit of my blackest black ink liner. I never know which is the right way up for you guys, which I love. Again, look at that gorgeous fine tip and very easily one can simply take it along the lash line. You can see that I'm just resting the nib on my lashes and just follow the lash line all the way along. It's that easy. When I get to the outer corner, I do then like to draw from the outer corner in. With a little extension. If you wish. And there we go, eyeliner in moments. Brill. I will just top up with a little bit more of my smoky eye mascara. And then for this look, and because it was a Monday morning, I didn't take my shadow under my lower lash line. I simply kept it to a bit of mascara so that, yes, I achieved a smoky look, but it wasn't too heavy. There we go. There's look number four eyes for you. Now, when I said I was going to do this look on my Instagram, lots of you were like, Please show us what you had on your lips and cheeks too. So, you wish is my command. Um, I'm just going to top up a little bit of my bronzer using my chestnut um, skin foundation stick. And I'm purely going to take that over the top of my cheeks just to add a little bit of extra warmth. I do find in the winter months that little bit of extra warmth is really flattering and stops me from feeling too kind of, I don't know, wintry and pale and dowdy. Um, but yes, just taking a little bit of the skin foundation stick just to warm up my face. It's also nice because you're doing it with cream-based products so you never get that horrible dry look. And um, my trusty and ever-present powder pink pot rouge, just on the apple of my cheeks for a little bit of soft colour. What we don't need is anything too major on the cheek because this look, of course, is all about the eyes. Jeepers, creepers, where do you get those peepers? Hormones, guys, I'm singing, I apologise. Okay, and then lips. This is the Bobby Lip pencil which is a lovely very nude almost heathery beige kind of tone um but yes as you can see I just put that around my lip edge for a bit of muted definition see this is a skill chaps talking whilst doing lip liner. Could I be a ventriloquist? No. Okay. So just getting that soft heather beige hue. Pretty. And then a little bit, I couldn't find it then. Just a little bit of lip balm. Just to keep the lips looking supple and moist but when you've got you know a slightly smokier eye you just don't need quite so much on the lips and cheeks so the powder pink and the bobby lip pencil are perfect and then of course it wouldn't have been complete if it wasn't for a little bit of moon glow highlighter so with a face blending brush i had just swept a little bit of this over my cheeks just to help boost 
that their glow but yeah it was really as quick and simple as that so that is my caviar and rubies eye that was most popular with my followers on Instagram and I know that there's lots of crossover with you gorgeous subscribers and my Instagram followers and um, as I oh she's got a hair in her mouth as I said I don't want you guys out there on my YouTube channel to miss any of the polls that I post so do please follow me on Instagram and check my stories regularly because that's where you can vote for looks you want me to film um but yes Look number four using the gorgeous black scotch and gilded from my favourite palette of the season, the Bobbi Brown Caviar and Rubies palette. Guys, I hope you're happy and that you enjoyed that. Um, never fear kind of, you know, gently bullying me because if I can, I will make the time to make the content that you so desperately wish to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and I'll see you soon. My phone's buzzing. <laughs>